Let's find out what these brothers have to say about ultimate commitment when it comes to relationships. To be head of the household slash husband basically means you know you got to be a provider. More fashionable nowadays to be a divorcee than to be a wife. Want to get married? It's it's in our psyche, but the question is when. Is marriage still important? In this day and age, I feel like there's so many things out there for single people, from uh, Tinder to social media, that no one's really trying to settle down and just get married and really be with somebody for the rest of their life. I mean, it does hold a lot of significance, but everybody thinks differently, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I definitely agree to each his own, but I, I feel like marriage is still important, even uh, from the young age because of, uh, just because of media, social media. Um, marriage is actually, in a way, trending right now. You have your uh, celebrities, Beyonce, Jay-Z, um, you know, you have all of these celebrities that are hooking up and making um, marriage, in a sense, cool. And you would see a lot of young women on Instagram or Facebook repost pictures of these people in their relationships and how happy they are. And, and that's what they kind of seek now so I, I i feel like that that is still important you know i think it's it's more fashionable nowadays to be a divorcee than to be a wife or really? to be a husband i mean i feel like that's because we got so many options out here you know like nobody wants to stay with the same person yeah you know not like 50 years ago where it's like okay we're gonna get married we're gonna be stuck together forever because I can't go on Facebook and see some bad looking woman and be like, okay, I'm going over there. Now, just like, I could go wherever I want and see whoever I want and get tempted to do something else. Like, you know what, this isn't who I want anymore. So, too many temptations is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, I think at the end of the day, marriage is a state of mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to want to be married. I mean, you can, you're, as guys, we spend our lives, I mean, even a married guy, I mean, I mean, you know, you're married, you're still gonna look at women. You know what I'm saying? So, at the, it, at the end of the day, it's like, am I ready to be married? Am I ready to, you know, give my life to this one lady, this one female for the rest of my life? So I think that's what it really boils down to is like, you know, is this it? Is this the person that I want to be with for the rest of my life? Because we're always going to look, you know, we're always going to want to not be married. But, um, you know, you have to really do it for what you want in life. Do you want a family? You know, is this something that you want to do? Do you want to be able to raise your kids and have grandkids and things like that? Because some men, you know, I'm not speaking, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but some men don't want that, you know? So it's just like, what do you want in your life? Why do you think people are gravitating more towards cohabitation than marriage? Oh man, this is a, uh, I think, oh, uh, first, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, spit it out, man. You know, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend of three years, long, long distance relationship for three years, uh, she actually just moved. Damn. She actually just moved out to LA uh, to make it official, and um, tough man. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, but um, you know, uh, I think you know that's a conversation that we had. You know, should we cohabitate? Like, should we live together, or should we actually, you know, should she get her own apartment? Should I, you know, just remain in my own apartment? And um, she actually came up with the the idea, or you know, what was right for her was to get her own apartment while she's out here. You know, it doesn't mean she doesn't love me as much or anything like that, but she thinks that living together is something that um, is better, you know, you know, after marriage. And me, the guy in me is like, yo, you trying to save money on this rent or no? <laughs> <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? But, but I mean, I understand where she was coming from. Like, you know, I'm like, yeah, that is true. Like, you know, maybe we should wait till we get married because I can understand the thought process behind, okay, you know, let's get a chance to, you know, see how we are apart from each other instead of staying together all the time. Paying, exactly. Paying two separate rents. For yeah, yeah. yeah. No, see, that's what I'm saying. Because to, to coexist uh, with the one another um, is that's to have the deepest understanding, the deepest comprehension, right. and and to just be able to compromise, you know? Yeah. And, and a lot of people aren't able to just dig into that initially they they they'll just hear it and and go you know off of that first green light versus yeah. looking both ways before they cross that street yeah. but i think that before marriage there should be some time live together just to you know, think balance so that chemistry yeah, yeah, out yeah. with each other right. in that in that environment and it's like what we were talking about um earlier you know you could have some pet peeves some yeah. stuff that you don't yeah. like yeah. from your partner and then you don't really <laughs> see it or it doesn't become apparent, apparent until yeah. you live with that person it's like yeah. oh man you pick leave your clothes on the floor you know yeah. you know you try to <laughs> get a system in place and you realize oh they're not trying to work with me on that you know we gotta mm -hmm. you know so it you know i, I think it is good to cohabitate yeah, I, I think, I think it is it. 
he need to at yeah. least live to put together with something for at least a year. Yeah. Figure out what's going on with her. Yeah. Figure out exactly right. how it's working. Is this yeah. gonna work for me? Is it not gonna work for me? And if she passes that test for you, hey man, put it right on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we have like had situations where like we've lived together. Like you know, for example, she came out here for a whole semester and. Uh, um, did some classes at USC, so she was living with me while she was here for that like six months. So we've had we have lived together, but you know I'm just like I mean if you want to you know wait till marriage, I think it's almost I don't want to make it seem like it's the same thing as sex, but I do kind of want to test drive the living situation <laughs> before I actually get into a situation where I'm like now I don't want to put you on blast, but I don't see any engagement ring on you. Are you guys? Oh, oh, oh so, so now I gotta be married. No, are you at least engaged? No. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, we do what we do. We, we just, you know. That's the thing. You got him over here talking. I know, so now you're talking. <laughs> We're happy. Okay. We are marriage minded, but men are a little more methodical or, or, or systematic in their thinking and in their way of life. You know, mm -hmm. whereas women are, seem, tend to be more emotionally driven. It's like, I like them, let's do this. Man, I was like, hold on, I got some other stuff I need to take care of first, you know? Yeah. So I think that especially with men, they need some time to, you know, graze the fields yeah. or, or sow the royal oats. <laughs> yeah. And then you're peer pressured by the guys that you, you know, you, you come up with. Yeah. And it's, it's like, hey, you're not supposed to have no feelings. You know, yeah, yeah. you know that. And, and that's yeah. the trend. I think it depends on where you're from in a sense of yeah. like, you know, you know what, you know, your upbringing, because I know a lot of my friends, I, I grew up in the hood, but, you know, I went to college. So, you know, that's two different sides you know what i'm saying so like most of my friends who you know live in the hood i wouldn't say they're not marriage minded i think that they're more so uh trying to survive you know what i'm saying put food on the table they, some of them already have kids so they're like okay with what they already have you know what i'm saying so they don't see a, a need to really want to get married you know what i'm saying um and then most of my friends who i went to college with my fraternity brothers is more so like yeah i mean we want to get married it's it's in our psyche but the question is when, you know, it's like, am I ready to get married? Am I ready to, like we were talking about earlier, you know, let that be it? Because like you were saying earlier, uh, Jarrell, I mean, the access to women and just everything is so easy. easy. It's like, am I ready to settle down for this one person for the rest of my life when I can have all these different type of women different whenever ways. I want to? When is it time for a man to become faithful? For me, what made me become faithful after the last girlfriend I cheated on was that I realized that um, at which point I had a girlfriend that I really loved. I mean, she was amazing. She was a great woman. And uh, I cheated on her with my ex-girlfriend mm. and, and I lost her. So I vowed to like never cheat on my girlfriend ever again because I knew how I felt when I lost something that, I mean, she was, what was that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. you know, I never wanted to cheat because I just realized like when you have something so good, somebody that's like really doing so much for you, mm -hmm. sacrificing so much, it's like, how could I treat her like that? Or how could I be, you know, so bad to her? I mean, but I mean, there are those situations where, I mean, you get put in a position where it's like Saturday night and, you know, you drunk. And uh, somebody's bad. I mean, you know, how do you, yeah. are you, are you ready for, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Keep yourself hey, out of it's like, are your morals strong enough for you to say? Exactly, it's the will. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. You I, have I, I, got a, I got a question from the man over here. All right, so, just as we were saying, like, a friend of mine, friend of yours. he's, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna say his name, but he's, like I said, he's kind of in that phase where he wants to get married, but he still wants to kind of do his thing. And he's like, I don't know if I need to stop before I get married, before, it, you know, it, it may lapse over into that. Has it been, how's that transition been for you? Man. As a married man. I honestly think that before you get married, you know, you're with your girlfriend for X amount of years. I don't know. You go out with your boys and, you know, you might be in a position where there's like a bad girl right in front of you. What do you do? Yeah. You're not married. You might flirt a little bit. Who knows? Some guys take it to the extreme. You might take her home. This might happen X, Y, Z. Once you're married, if you're put in that position, that's it. You walk. You got to walk away. You got to turn the other yeah, cheek. Yeah, for sure. You shouldn't even be in that position, number one. But, you know, it's going to happen because you're going to have those single friends that are still going to be your boy. You know, can't leave this dude alone. That's still my boy. We're going to hang out. Hey, man, you want to play wingman for you? All right, cool. I got you. All right, cool. <laughs> but I feel like you just got to get everything out of your system before you're married, man. If you feel like you didn't get everything out, don't get married. Don't get married. You're just wasting yeah. your time, man. When you're married, do you have to stop being out in the club? I think life is all about having fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I think... 
I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be that type of guy, that type of dad that's like when my son is 21, I'm in the club with him, you know what I'm saying? But, at the, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like, you know, I mean, it's, it's amongst the relationship, you know, if you have that kind of relationship where like, you know, hey, let's go out to the club, together or you know hey babe it's cool if you go out with your yeah, friends oh yeah i'm all for that do what you do yeah. but i think um there is a certain level of like like you were saying uh your friendships i mean like you know what kind of guys are you hanging around with like yeah. I mean, if they are single like do they respect that you are in a relationship or i mean of course you have to respect it but they should know not to put you in situations that, like, where exactly. you're like so hey man you know i got a girl you know so, what I'm so the trust factor man you trust yeah. You trust your woman to go to the club. You know she's not gonna dance with nobody. Yeah. Somebody try to talk to her because that will happen. Oh yeah. She's Always. Gonna brush them off. Man. Go ahead, have fun. You know. Yeah. You trust me to go to the club and do what I gotta do to the club. Have fun. I'm, if I, as a guy, you know, as a guy, when you're single, you go into the club to really get girls. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But when you're married or you're in a heavy relationship Something and you go out. with your boys, you're just gonna mm -hmm. grab a drink. Yeah. You're gonna stay posted Chill. by the wall. Yeah. And you're gonna bob your head. Yeah. For like yeah. a good two hours, <laughs> then you gotta leave. That's true. And that's it. That's true. <laughs> so to answer the question. Trust is the key to that. Trust is the key. Trust, right. Trust me to go and not do anything. To bring it home. <laughs> Trust is the key. Thanks, Glenn.